guys and gals, uh, me Mudahar, and uh, before we begin, I have to notify what this video really is. Um, last night we did some live shit pasta readings. We had a turnout of about 900 people on the stream, which is brilliant. Um, but we came across one shit pasta that you're about to read. Now this is a shit pasta and troll. In fact, it's a troll pasta. Let's be honest with the definition. It's not really. I guess, trying to be a legitimate shit pasta. So, you know what, this is a troll pasta video. I was going to upload a shit pasta one, but I guess I'll upload that next month because this one was quite the lulziest video ever. That, uh, the lulziest shit pasta or troll pasta that we read. It was actually called I Slightly Dislike You, as you can see from the title. Now, uh, this video, what you're about to hear is me and my friends, uh, more importantly, they are True Fire Mac, uh, Imaru, and, uh, Rich from the Siggy Paddle, and we were reading some shit pastas. And who came across the I slightly dislike you. So uh, it was a combined effort to read such a magnificent work of art, which be put in the Louvre. But um, uh, what you're basically about to go into is us reading it. And uh, we apologize for the lack of professionalism. There was no way I could read such a travesty at the, with a straight face. So uh, you will hear some laughing, you will hear people switch on and off because with something that involves the Chinese Illuminati and, I, I don't know, buckets of semen. It, it It is messed up, but this is a, and that was my phone that just went off, this is a last airbender video game creepypasta. So, with that being said, just sit back and enjoy. Um, I slightly dislike you. And just as a disclaimer, this does contain some pretty adult material. Um, so if you're under the age of 18, you should not watch this. In fact, no. All right. But you know, don't let me influence your decisions or anything. That being said, just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> I slightly dislike you. All right. I slightly dislike you. <laughs> this isn't one of those sexy game stories. At no point are you going to hear me claim something within the game tried to rape me jizzed on my face and forced me to masturbate uncontrollably. No, this isn't about a sexy game or a game doing something ultra smexy or even something hyper-realistic. This isn't about a bitch or hidden Fire Nation propaganda and at no time <laughs> I phone sex hotline only to have my questions answered by Azula, Slenderman, or the Toppler, or Azula. What the fuck? This story is about a, gr a game featuring Azula. I don't think anyone else has unlocked. <laughs> That's it. No toast? No. It's all a conspiracy, man. Just a secret <laughs> we were all supposed to find, but never did. Something that changes an entire generation's virginity. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Say it again. What the fuck? <laughs> Something that changes an entire generation's virginity. <laughs> In the very essence of a multi bazillion bagillion peso franchise. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my lord. <laughs> this is about what I assume to be previously undiscovered alternate ending of Super Ang World for the Super <laughs> Nintendo. Oh my god. <laughs> there are no cl cliches whatsoever in this story. None at all. No hyper realistic blood. No parts in the game where I couldn't control my character. I didn't get this game for free off eBay, and I wasn't an intern at the company that owns the franchise. Nah, just kidding. This is a gaming Fuck creepypasta. You. It's going to have every cliche in the book, just like all the other gaming creepypastas. In 1669, I received my first computer. <laughs> oh, that says Rick Haved. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> 1669, I recaged my first computer <laughs> as, a death, as a death day gift. <laughs> I'd been on the interweb before. <laughs> had used computer had used computers before. It had always been. <laughs> you got me fucking. Uh, oh my in God. school or at a pimp's house. <laughs> this one was mine, all oh, mine. Shit. Just like Ellie Kid's nips. <laughs> I explored the crude prehistoric web of time with great interest. I downloaded all sorts of pornography and even printed it out for research. 
<laughs> Jesus. I also pirated media like Mad Men, music, games, porn, games, film, music, porn, games, film, music, porn, 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 anything. <laughs> this is where I first discovered Axel Society. I had never had a Super Nintendo as a little old man, so it was all new to me. I downloaded tons of games along with SMES emulators, which I got off eBay for free, but Axel Society was my favorite. What? For over a decade, the world of Minecraft was my time-wasting hobby. Oh, the world of Warcraft, excuse me. I played it over and over again, beating the game faster and faster until I be began to lazily explore the worlds with no particular purpose, because I have no Why life. Why you beat an MMO? What? Yeah, fuck if I know. <laughs> Gay genie codes helped <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I could turn off the timer and relive a particularly entertaining map for an hour. Again, no life as I waited for a download or any number of boring events. It was in this manner that I must have beaten and re-beaten re my dick thousands upon thousands of times. <laughs> <laughs> there was comfort in the obsessive compulsive behavior of this routine, but all of that was shattered when I saw the non-blind top. Why? Toph. Why? Toph. The non-blind Toph, as I referred to her, was hovering <laughs> over the exit of the horny sex ship level later on in the game. <laughs> I called her non-blind because she actually looked at things and seemed to recognize them. <laughs> it was like someone had made a lazy ROM hack. But I knew from years upon years of experience that this was a normal game, even though I've only just seen this in the game. It's all new to me, so how the fuck can I? So how the fuck can I think it's still part of the actual game? But I never even not done it anyway. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the non-blind tough just hung there over the exit pipe, blocking it. It turned my back to her, but she didn't chase me. How could she? She was busy having a threesome with Soka and what? Zuko. What? <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> Then I noticed oh, something else out of sorts. Still, this didn't belong here, there, belong there, but I knew it. In fact, that Toph could actually see nearly gave me a heart attack, and to this day, my heart hurts and is sore. For a <laughs> moment, I considered the fact I'd actually broken a ROM file for over from overuse, which is possible. <laughs> I did play it for over a fucking decade. After taking a screenshot specifically to show all of the avatars out there. <laughs> I picked up the key and opened the door, figuring the game would spaz out and I'd have to restart. Instead, it opened up a new path on the map section screen. An anus next to the <laughs> already creepy head, Dave. Oh, God. Thing game of jig jig I pressed the right arrow key and moved on to the chocolate starfish. What? No, not the semen. Not the semen. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's in my eyes. My eyes. Uh, uh. This didn't really strike me as odd because if you're familiar with the well, uh, whatever well, world game, you could. <laughs> there's an area called Fart Road that you may note has similar names. Just stuff like Shalik and Chingalak. And all manners of dumb words and phrases. Most of the areas were called Vagina Forest 1, Nutsack, Count 3, and all that. <laughs> but they were maps with odd names like that. What did concern me, though, was Aang, Aang's expression. Surprise, shock, fear, arousal, barbecue sauce, butter. <laughs> I entered the boy. <laughs> Oddly enough, <laughs> the asshole in the middle of the lake began with the standard Hell 666 entry animation. Aang walked up to the hyper-realistic door and the words Hell 666 written in equally, <laughs> equally hyper-realistic blood while the Lavender Town theme played in reverse. He looked up, oh, heard an awful Kefka. Kefka laugh, then went in. I would tell it was under lava, though, because everyone melted almost instantly. Inside the castle, I started to look more and more like I was, in fact, experiencing a glitch. But this game, Pasta, isn't about a glitch. <laughs> it's, it has no cliches whatsoever, so shut up. <laughs> 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 
Did I mention I was also an intern at, you know what, it really doesn't matter. Back to the plot. <laughs> <laughs> there was no room to jump, no room to do anything but run left and right and fat. <laughs> I must have gone right for 20 minutes, for 10 to 20 minutes, just holding the B button while running along full speed. So naturally I got bored and decided to shut the game off and do something productive with my eyes. The end. Not. Uh, <laughs> fooled you. Did you really think <laughs> there would be a gaming creepypasta where you could protagonist protagonist has any degree of common sense? Of course I continued playing .exe. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, I ran into one or two non-blind troughs. Yes, two. It seems trough has mastered the art of shadow clone jitsu. <laughs> jitsu. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not one to complain. This simply means one, more of the glorious, magnificent toaf to go around. In the witness above, or the whiteness above, then three or four, then the screen was full of them. which oh, just geez. kind of hung there, doing nothing. <laughs> they wouldn't chase me if I turned my back, as with the previous non-blind toaf. Although... They had no reason not to chase me as they were having an orgy with a what bunch of Soka and Zuku fuck? clones. <laughs> they must all all be too stoned to care or something. There we go. <laughs> if I made any noise like flat, like fapping, they would just kind of say, do it. You got the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like they heard the sound of fapping from within the game the world. <laughs> We couldn't do anything about it because oh they couldn't God. reach out of the screen and eat me. It was, they were pretty much Beakley sh Shay, don't you think? LOLs. I'm so random. Then something made me stop and turn the other way. Now I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt this map was disguised specifically to troll the player. Not because the giant melon lord was farting profusely, but because there was <laughs> gas and... and, and <laughs> What the fuck are oh. you reading? Go on, go on. I have no go clue. On. There was literally no way to avoid being killed by it. As you as you can clearly see above, well, not clearly, the author of this parody is too lazy to make an edited picture to go along with it. That is, unless you like me and have no life, I switched on the code for permanent sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> I, let, I let the melon lord chase me for a while when I was sexy. <laughs> just to go, just to get a good look at the thing. I stopped and killed it with my sexy touch. Oh, <laughs> only when I saw a message that hadn't been there when I had passed before. I slightly dislike you. <laughs> that kind of creeped me out and gave me another heart attack, rendering me a catatonic for a few more days hey if you've been doing nothing but playing the same game over and over again anything could give you a heart attack <laughs> but on the other hand it was kind of interesting because it means this was definitely a map that was supposed to exist not a glitch in the slightest or an evil satanic spirit that coincidentally looks like a character from a normal game or show there was some sort of plot element here something undiscovered what did it mean who hated me? Five Lord uh, Ozzy? Ozai. Ozai. Ozai seemed the obvious answer because he's <laughs> such a cunt. <laughs> or maybe just the top. Or maybe just the tops. <laughs> when you're in a hyper realistic castle that you found by, by the way of a haunted ship, a bloody looking hate message isn't so unbelievable. Also, the fact that Toph is a massive troll anyway. <laughs> I saw it again and I approached. Soskiaizen. 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 Whatever. <laughs> I was thankful for. I was thankful that the non-blind top ended at this point because the more I watched, the more then wandered around, not knowing what to do with the newfound powers. The uneasier I felt, almost empathetic towards them, etc. What the fuck? The, thank <laughs> the thankfulness ended when I turned my back on the Aizen, and this happened. Azen looked directly at, directly at me and said, just as I planned. This made me shit myself. <laughs> Everything in the universe <laughs> is part of an Azen plan. Everything, even getting his ass kicked by Ichigo is part of his plan. <laughs> he was planning me to play this game for over a decade since before I was born. Okay. Could Azen actually be the Illuminati? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, I'm going to address the, the mess that you saw the in fuck? the non-existent picture. Oh how to get burned. God. I don't know how. Am I supposed to? Who's asking? I, I let the Asian touch me. <laughs> and he died like the melon lord, of which I had encountered too. Despite attempt to scare the player, I knew that being sexy meant sexy no matter what. What they threw at me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> After a while of running down this page, open cla cla claustrophobic corridor, <laughs> no more eventfuls happening. I came into a room with no exit pipe. Taking the pipe down... What? With an exit pipe. Okay. <laughs> Taking the pipe downward, I came, out, I came out the other end and dropped into a room filled with, yep, you guessed it, semen. <laughs> <laughs> semen made sense. Being another Madden Z666 Bakura A Direct 727 Avatar Troll Pasta or Ava Pasta or all like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just sneak okay. in a fucking YouTube <laughs> advertisement? <laughs> I was rewarded for my troubles oh my with the question mark block <laughs> that released a magic mushroom for me. I could have easily done this with the cheat code, but the thought had escaped me as I faced all these old and new and strange normal sights. The first creature I encountered in the under semen portion of the castle. <laughs> Were machichichichacha, whatever. What You've been living under a rock since forever. You know what? Whatever the fuck they are. Apparently, I don't. So I'm not even going to bother describing them to you. Well, these little motherfuckers lined up in a tight, tight, tight row, dropped ass and poop repeatedly at random with no real trigger or any sense of logic. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they would wait and drop whenever they seemed to feel like it. It also looked like... <laughs> yep, fuck them. They were very successful. <laughs> More hyper-realistic oh, semen. <laughs> this was getting pretty unusual for the avatar. The last oh, chair, the last <laughs> chairbender chair franchise, oh, <laughs> which I hadn't recalled seeing semen in it at all, or one of the main uh, antagonists from the Bleach, for what that matter. Fucking <laughs> now I've seen it everywhere, and they're perpetually smashing, grinding them. Yeah, them who were raping their victims. Who? In the pulp. Forever what, wait, and what? ever and ever and ever. What? In the pulp. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Holy shit. And the hampering effects of the semen, I walked slowly <laughs> under these things, making sure every single one touched me and I died. <laughs> and there, were, there were almost 30 million in a row, I know, because I counted, because previously stated, I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> the sight of them mindlessly crushing over and over again, just made me hate them with an unsettling intensity and a periodic table proportion. <laughs> What's weird is the semen caused Aang to slide as if we were on ice level. Instead, semen supposedly to be sticky. Oh, man. Let me scroll down some more. Uh, after walking through the gauntlet of depravity, filled with the ultimate and tr transcendent despair, burning furiously within the dark, dank animosity of the ages until the end of all things is inferior world and truly make us at one with ourselves. Oh, the I swam into a more <laughs> open area that was filled with dildos on the floor and ceiling. <laughs> if you've read other stories, you should have seen this one coming at least 20 million time miles away. Oh, it was difficult to fap in this manner without touching the dildos. <laughs> Since I was still sexy, I didn't think much of it. I avoided them more for the lulls than <laughs> out of any sense to be damaged. Oh my I stopped God. being lulzy really fast, though. Holy shit. <sighs> now I knew some of what was going on. The bloody mess of the yep were un... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody take over for a minute. All right, all right, oh. I'll take over, I'll take over. Woo! Now I knew some of what was going on. The bloody mess of the Michika Tunichi were unending spattering. It was other Aangs, past avatars that had tried to traverse this gauntlet of purple prose 
and failed. I had to admit that this was an, an excellente touch, even if it was a bit stupid. Why, <laughs> why, would, why would the Avatar die a million times to the same thing? Whoever had designed the map actually broke the trans-dimensional rift and showed you the bloated, motionless abortions of the player's own ceaseless discharge. The, the seizure of brutality in the what tiny... The fuck is up with the image? You know, I don't even know if you're in a game dark, anymore. Dank pit of depravity suckling on the breast of despair <laughs> that was Ang's life. Jesus Christ, what are we fucking eating? Oh, the God. bodies only floated straight up and down a tiny bit, as if to show the effects of a light current or on again, off again erections. <laughs> It was genius. I could believe I might be the first and only person to see this because I broke it to gain me from <laughs> use. I toyed with the idea of taking more than one non-existent screenshot I just <laughs> presented to you. Basically, so all of you reading this could enjoy the fapping to the secret map as such as I had. Especially this weird little touch of boobs and the toth cross Azula fanfics. But... <laughs> <laughs> without swimming, without kicking, or moving in any way, the dead avatars started to come to life like torpedoes. <laughs> Their faces remained blank and blue, yellow, pink, whatever, and dead, but they moved with astounding speed. <laughs> they angled and positioned and worked all sorts of unique sex positions, missionary, <laughs> style, etc. They left me almost nowhere to come they continue coming at me swarming and backing up to try again I, I just I couldn't bring myself to let them touch me even though I used a permanent sexiness cheat which according to the bulk's <laughs> translates sensibility oh my god which basically means ang zombies would die if they touched me but I've been playing this game for so long I'm actually convinced the characters are real so shut up what, what <laughs> All right, hold on. I want to. I want to read this. I want to read this now. I want to read it. Okay. I moved with more speed and skill than I'd ever exerted, frantically trying to keep Ang free of the psycho rapist that seemed dead set on rocketing straight into his anus. When they finally reached the purple people eater, you don't see above. There had to be like ten million of those things right behind, pitching, turning, and trying to rape me. I entered the purple people eater as fast as I could, thankful that it worked properly. And had Ang out of that situation in a fart beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The corridor that followed was empty. Thankfully, it was just a red and black hyper-realistic hallway of death with nothing to avoid or kill. It was boring and predictable like the game had been all these years. So I decided to turn it off and nope, still going! At the end of the hallway, I came to the standard pair of tits you'd enter to face a final boss. Behind the doorway, a box filled with crystal meth. I didn't what? touch that shit, so it's pointless <laughs> me even mentioning it since you'd never find out what it does. Going through the door as you'd expect, <laughs> the typical change of map views occurred, and Ang was standing on the ubiquitous, excessive melee bridge over boiling semen, or had it been milk all along. When Aang walked out of the bridge, however, there was no boss creature. Instead, Aang immediately looked into the side and froze. I couldn't control him anymore, he just stood there. There's never... That's never happened in a gaming creepypasta, right? Yeah, it's totally original and scary. Good job, brain! <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking until you see it. I don't even see it at first, so I don't expect you to notice it right away. If you still haven't spotted the thing, look at the third window from the left. FYI, that's not usually there. <laughs> There's no picture to go along with it, but whatever. There's a scary <laughs> thing right there. It doesn't do anything, really. It's just creepy. Right there. Just right there. Keep looking. You'll spot it eventually. Just right there. You see it? Can you see it? Shut the fuck up and continue with the story, said Ang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ang. Ang seemed to regain his composure and looked back and forth slowly, surveying the room. There was still no boss, and I still couldn't control him. So I stopped trying and just watched. 
This went on and on for what seemed like forever. Nothing happened. So I turned the game. Oh, just shut up. That joke wasn't funny <laughs> the first time you did it, and it won't be now. Then a familiar face walked in from the right, dressed in blue, tall and angry. It was Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Ang recoiled in horror. It's difficult to say that. What the? <laughs> it's difficult to say that without thinking how stupid it sounds. But Ang really reeled back with a sort of terror that was uncharacteristic for such a peppy, happy-go-lucky kid like him. Oh, fuck you. Then Cage spoke. Do you think that Ozai worked alone? Well, no, not really. He had a psycho bitch daughter and an army of firebenders. It was all connecting now. The message is scrawled on the wall. I slightly dislike you. And how to get burned. Nicholas Cage. He's always been Aang's second banana. The player <laughs> <to> the boy. <laughs> doesn't get that sweet Katara booty in these early games. No, no matter how identical he is to Aang in skill set and ability and tenaciousness and bravery. At the end of the day, the game is Super Aang Brothers, and he's just the brother. What the fuck is this? Aang and Nicolas Cage never have and never will be a team. Don't you question my method, Zuzu. Trust me, people love this story. Then me and Suzuki Aizen will rule the creepypasta community as husband and wife. Well, not really, since I'm married to Ty Lee, but whatever. What the fuck? <laughs> how, he so must, <laughs> how he must... This is like fourth wall ter territory shit. <laughs> how he must have Dude, hated so Aang. Well. This is like beyond the fourth wall, man. This is like the fucking... <laughs> this is like seventh heaven right now. <laughs> how he must have hated Aang. Who among us would? Think about it. No matter what happens, Aang always comes back. No matter how many corpses he leaves... What? Uh, littering the battlefield, he always... They're one more to leap and cheer and get all the adoration. And so does Nicolas Cage. He's the Luigi of the story, right? And Ozai hadn't worked alone. I don't know what that meant at first. <laughs> Anything. But again, you just have to think about it. Think it through. How exactly does Fire Lord Ozai consistently succeed in trolling the other nations? <laughs> from day one. <laughs> from the original Ang Brothers onward. It had been an inside job. Just like 9-11. <laughs> so, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Still unable to control the character, I watched Ang simply shit himself in fear as Cage leapt gracefully into the air, as high as he could in M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender, the bastard <laughs> child of the franchise. He jumped on the pathetic poop ridden Ang again and again and again. I was powerless to stop it. Even though I could just, you know, like, shut the game off, but I'm just dumb like that. <laughs> when he was done, he seemed to look at Aang's limp body with his overwhelming cageness. Then the bridge started to appear. Disappear, sorry. Soon, Aang would be dead. As I looked on, I had an irrational thought. How did In get burned? With an actual instant, as Cage turned to seemingly strike a Ginyu Force pose. Like he oh, beaten the level. Just trying to see him bolt. Ang awkwardly got to his feet and took him by surprise. Fapping and sexiness and constipation had given way to anger. And Ang over oh fuck you. Overpowered his bro with little effort. To this day, I'm still aroused by the final result of this wrathful, desolate conglomeration of instantaneous despair, depravity, and reprisal. My feels still hurt and are sore, not EXE. No, not the semen, not the semen. Ah! Oh, it's in my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! That was the level's <laughs> title. None of this was an itch. None of it was a mistake. It wasn't a developer getting back at Nintendo. And it wasn't a ghost haunting a Nintendo cartridge. It was a purposeful part of Eisen's plan. If you, beat the, <laughs> if you beat the same dick X number of times, a secret part of it. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> <A secret laughs> <laughs> <Fuck> you. <sighs> you are you okay? Can you finish? Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> a secret oh, a secret part of the universe open, and you learned that from the Ang brothers through Angland, Nicholas Cage had secretly been working against you. 
that was in fact facilitating the repeated abduction and abuse of Katara Tove and others. But why? Oh, shit. Money. Power. <laughs> nah. It was all there. Because he couldn't take one not being the one in the spotlight. Not being Aang himself. After Cage died, well and truly died it, Aang just sat on the edge of the bridge and fapped. I was forced to watch this for minutes on end before the screen faded to black. I fucking know this is amazing. I, okay, we only got like four lines. I played the rest of the game through to see if anything changed. Nothing else odd happened apart from the hyper-realistic blood and the beast version of our mascot. Aang that was unlocked as a playable character. As one would expect, since the whole ordeal was just supposed to be part of Aizen's plan. I couldn't access the butthole again. I'd seen the event <laughs> once. And that was all I apparently I was apparently allowed. Then again, why would I want to? The level itself was fucking boring. Three hours just running right, with nothing that can kill you. No thanks. I was back to the game as usual. The same exact game I played since the 90s. And will probably continue to play for the rest of my days, because I had no life. Well, it was the same except for the final image, which you'll never see anyway, so shut up. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Man, Good enough. lord. <laughs> 20 out of 10 done. <laughs> 100 out of 10. You know the best part? You know the best part that you about that? I entered the butt. Dude, 0 out of 10, man. 0 out of 10. I couldn't enter the bubble. That's again. the best. <laughs> I just I just like interrupted Rich just to say that line. <laughs> <laughs> I would give it a one a one hundred and one, but only because he used Avatar characters. Drop the one hundred. Asian Illuminati. Fucking Avatar and fucking Bleach and fucking Dragon Ball Z, fucking Mario and Luigi. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage is out. He's Aang's brother. Hey Aang, you better pull the trigger, cause I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hashtag oh, I entered the bus. Holy shit. So what was the uh yeah. what was the best part about it? Tr- <laughs> the best I part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I can't think of any probably know, Nicholas I Cage. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. no, anyone anyone in the chat, if you've never got high before, read this creepy pasta. That's the perfect example of how being high feels like. Oh wow. my god, holy shit, man, holy shit. The best part, no. man, he was, no. Nicolas Cage was always the second banana. Yeah, I lost it. <laughs> I lost it right there. <laughs> Not this uh, let me see the person oh. comes up. Oh. Oh, He's always fun. been Ang, second banana. The player, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't get that sweet guitar <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, that was brutal. What was this part? Uh, oh what the fuck? No oh my god, that sweet guitar booty. <laughs> oh my god. So, what do we all think? What would we rate this? <laughs> <laughs> What, 20 out of 10? I said it. <laughs> no, I give it a fucking million out of 10. No, 0 out of 10, man. I couldn't get into the butthole again. <laughs> <laughs> the butthole was sealed, dude. Hey, where's my picture, man? You know, this might be a shit pasta, but it is the best shit pasta I've read ever. The greatest. It, 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 you know what? I mean, I think, I, I think this person just found an art. That's it. It changed you. Know you. It, changed, it changed you as a human being. But you know what the best part about it is? It's like, I kept thinking of that one episode from South Park, Scrody McBoogerballs. You know that one? You know the one where they made that book? That really fucked up one? It's pretty much that, man. All it is is about semen and Illuminati. And, the and Aang <laughs> and Bleach yeah. and Dragon Ball and Mario and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> and and Nicolas Cage. You can't forget Nicolas Cage. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Now, did any of us expect this masterpiece in the first couple sentences? Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. I just read Catch a Glimpse of Seaman and Aang and Nicolas Cage, so, well, we have to read them. This was... Fuck, man. This shit got <laughs> wild and got wild fast. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. And 
did not let up. <laughs> it didn't, man. man. It was it was grilling. It was gr grilling. Brilliant. Anyways, this is. <laughs> I slightly dislike you. <laughs> so you guys might want to give your name before it ends. This if I upload this. My name Our is, names. Oh, okay. My name's Mudahar, by the way, in case somebody didn't know. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. So it's Fire Mac, and I got channel True Fire Mac. It's all that goodness. This is Imaru, and I have uh, an art page on Facebook. You can check it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll plug you in the description. Don't worry. Great. And I'm Rich Nificent. You know, check me out, man. <laughs> yeah, man, check him out. <laughs> check me out, man. And that was, uh... <laughs> He's got the stuff. I got the stuff. <laughs> You got it going on. <laughs> so, what, 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 was, what was that line you said before? Oh my God. I, never, I never played it before. If you like what you saw, like, um, subscribe. This is all of us and we're, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ.